My name is Larry Rowan and I'm the new host for the gaming show Tech Play. Today we're reviewing Halo Reach for the Xbox 360. Listen up, Noble Team. We're looking at a down relay outpost 50 clicks from Visegrad. We're going to introduce ourselves to whoever took it out, and then Cat's going to get it back online. Get me under the hood, Commander. Sir, why would Rebels want to cut off Reach from the rest of the colonies? You got a chance, maybe you can ask him, George. Halo Reach was released on September 14, 2010. It is the fifth in the Halo saga, and the last game to be made by Bungie Studios. It is the prequel to Halo Combat Evolved, and the spiritual successor to Halo 3. The game follows Noble Team, a group of six genetically modified super soldiers, and their fight against the Covenant, a militant alien group. There are a few changes from Halo 3. First of all, there has been a complete graphical overhaul. The graphics are nice and beautiful in Halo Reach. The matchmaking system in Halo Reach has been completely revamped. Oh, come on, dude. The nice. voting system allows for players to vote on three different map and game type combinations. The newest thing to Halo Reach multiplayer is armor abilities and loadouts. These give the player specific powers to use, whether it be active camo, turning the player invisible, armor lock, which makes the player invulnerable, Hologram, which creates a copy of the player. Drop Shield, which makes Jetpack, which allows the player to fly. And Sprint, which allows the player to run. There are also challenges that are new to Halo Reach. These challenges change daily and earn the player points to spend for completing specific tasks. The players also now have access to the Armory where the player can completely customize their soldier using points earned during play. Uh, I like Reach because of the, um, the competitive multiplayer and uh, different people that, that play it makes it really um, fun and, and different every time I play. Uh, the voting system they have in Reach now, it's, it's great because um, you don't, sometimes you get a lot of the same maps, but a lot of times it's different, you get a lot of variety. Um, I like the Xbox 360 a lot because of uh, we have to pay for online gameplay and it feels a lot more competitive when most of the games you play other than um, other consoles that you have to get gameplay for free.